Uh, so now let's turn to our first uh, build along of this evening with uh, Chris Kors, of, uh, who owns Connor Wingo Models and has a new kit out called the Kello Trolley Station. Chris, welcome. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Go back to the PowerPoint here. All right. Uh, tonight's build along, June 8th, uh, Kello Station. Uh, we're doing both HO and O scales. Uh, if you haven't purchased your kit yet, uh, go to conowingomodels.com. And uh, for the HO scale kit, use the discount code JIMHO. And for the O scale kit, JIMO. And it's not valid on any other items. Apparently, somebody tried to use it for something else and it didn't work for them and they weren't happy and all that. But anyway, um, and that is good until June 15th. And uh, if you're at the uh, O scale uh, show up in Harrisburg over the weekend. We will be there and we will have kits. All right. So now we're on to episode three. And uh, let's see, we're going tonight. We'll go over the building assembly and the roof attachment. It doesn't look like much, but this is actually probably the most complex episode of all. And as a reminder, some parts uh, will look uh, a little bit different than between the scales and also between them and the pilot model, um, because uh, as we as we built these uh, the the pilot model, we learned and and figured ways of doing things better, and so the illustrations may not look quite the way that they do as you're building it as well. All right, so the assembly you should have uh, you see in that middle picture the number one wall glued to the um, to the ridge beam there, and you should have all of the uh, respective uh, braces for the building itself uh, hanging on the ridge beam, and they should match up by the numbers. And also, you should have the one uh, piece that doesn't have the the lower part of the structure on it, uh, the lower bracing there. Um, that should be over the center door. So be careful of that. And then once you get all that into place, uh, which you're going to want to do is dry fit it. And um, don't worry initially about the uh, about the, the two long walls and they'll they'll play catch up. So basically what you're going to do is drop the number twos and uh, the number fours into the slots and uh, it should all match up for you. Uh, yeah, don't forget that number one on the uh, we'll call it the inside, but it's basically the. The, the part underneath the, the, uh, the canopy there. And um, make sure you get all those lined up. They should drop right into place. And uh, gluing isn't necessary, but recommended. But what I actually did is I ran a little bit of glue um, on uh, across the, the tops of the number two and the number four. And if you break those pieces, uh, it's not that big of a deal. You can kind of see where they should fit into place anyway and just glue them there to make sure that they, they do fit like they should. All right, uh, so you're gonna add the braces, uh, the, the number threes to the ridge beam, uh, so you, on the end, so you form that, uh, so, you so you form that um, end area that's gonna be open and outside of the building, but still under cover. Um, you're gonna dry fit and glue the bottom cleats into place uh, by dry fit and glue. So like make sure they fit first, then glue them into place. Uh, you wanna glue this whole thing on a concrete pad that'll keep it nice and straight and square and as it should be. Uh, the pilot model for the O scale version was a little stubborn and that we had to use some weights to, uh, to put it into, hold it into place. I'm not quite sure why, why that was because it should be nice and straight. But uh, another thing you can do is those long gingerbread pieces um, that we talked about way, way back in uh, episode one. They come into play, which you can do is uh, put a, just the tiniest dab of glue on uh, where those arrows are all pointing and slide that little puppy in there. Make sure it's, uh, make sure that your right and left are even and uh, that'll hold those pieces into place as well. This whole thing is designed to, to, to fit together uh, nice and square. And uh, so it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have any problems with it. Uh, coming out. Um, okay, so now we're going to move on to the roof attachment. Uh, what you're going to want to do is use a metal rule ruler or the edge of the table to bend the crease on the two uh, roof halves. Or if you remember, we put that um, that piece of construction paper 
uh, down on the uh, inside of the roof to serve as kind of a, uh, uh, a hinge piece. Um, so you want to you want to be careful how do you do that uh, on on this uh, on the O scale kit. It actually broke on me and it was really a pain in the rear end to get it in the wrong spot. It broke on me in the wrong spot and that made it a real pain to uh, to get it to, to fit snugly on the roof like it's like it should. Uh, the pilot model, the, the roofing pieces were actually a little bit too short. So on the production models, um, we've extended that a little bit. So what you're going to need to do is um, you're going to have to play with both pieces and figure out uh, how much to cut off of the top so that you get the right fit for what you're looking for on that. Um, you're going to want to uh, glue those into place and, of course, use clamps. Uh, we, we found those little cheapo clamps that you can get at the hardware store uh, worked very well. And um, we recommend uh, doing one side first and then going on and doing the other side second uh, after the first side has been dried. All right, optional. Um, we didn't use it on the HO scale kit, but we did use it on the O scale kit is add a ridge cap uh, from the uh, sheet of shingling. Um, and uh, this will, uh, when you, if you use it from that sheet of shingling, it'll ensure that the colors match. And uh, you're just gonna have to kind of play it by ear and see how it all fits out. Um, you do that, uh, use a metal ruler and bend the uh, ridge cap in half so that it fits. And uh, then you can glue them into place once you're, once you're happy with that. All right, so uh, it was kind of a short episode, but yet at the same time, uh, once you start getting into it, it's actually pretty complex. Um, so your homework for tonight is finish the roof. You want to uh, touch up the paint and uh, finish adding, uh, finish painting your details and your sign parts. And next week we will finish up with uh, adding some uh, the, the last bits of details and, and the signage and, and all that. And uh, we'll go from there. Chris, let me ask you a question. Sure. The roof seems like that's going to be the, the, the most difficult part of this model. Have you got any tips? I mean, you know, just to keep it, to keep it simple. How do you build this roof? How, how do you slap this roof together? And, and when it comes out, you've got the roof you want. How do you, how did you finally figure out the, this was the easiest way for you to figure out how to do it? Well, I, I played with this roof actually on a couple other designs. And uh, really the biggest thing you can do is take your time, make sure you get everything even. Uh, Cause I don't know how many times I put a roof on slanted. So it's, so, so it's all cockeyed and then hangs out on one side, not on the other. And so just take your time, dry fit it. And uh, I think that's your best bet for it. Um, but, uh, and, and use those clamps. The more clamps you can get on it and the more, the more grasp of it you can get between like the ridge beam and the roof itself, uh, the more you can do that. And, um, you're going to need to use a decent amount of glue, um, depending on your um, depending on your personal confidence level with it. Is you might want to either use a CA or uh, a slower drying glue like I, uh, Aileen's, um, and that that will really kind of determine. Just basically, you've got a feel for it. You've got a feel. Okay, I've got a good. I've got a good. Um, high confidence in putting this roof on so you can do a little bit different things with it or maybe you just maybe you don't have that confidence level maybe you just need to sit there and play with it for a little while until it works for you and maybe dry fit it quite a bit before you even yes. have any glue at all just to if you're comfortable with the way that it looks maybe while you're just holding it on there Maybe that's step one, and then step two is a little glue that, okay, now now you've got it where it's on there by itself, and then you can come back and then glue the heck out of it. 
Yep. And uh, if you have, have a wife or somebody that can help you with uh, an extra set of hands, that may help too. Gotcha. Where do you buy the, the little clips? I, I've never seen those before. Where did you get those? Those, I got them. I, I got most of them, I think, at my local Ace Hardware. I just happened to be uh -huh. in there one day. And of course, you know, I just, I'm always tooling around looking for something. Um, but these little clips, I've got about oh, 15 or 20 of them. Um, yeah. and you can get them for like a pack of like five or 10 for like a buck or two. I mean, you can get them at the dollar store, uh, also, I think, um, I know that, uh, there's some tool, um, tool sellers that, uh, at, at the local, um, train shows that'll sell them to you. 